Welcome to a new happy learning video. Look at all these images. They are liquids and they are falling into containers. Well, today we're going to talk about capacity and liters. Capacity is the amount of liquid that fits inside something. And the smaller the object, the less capacity it has. For example, this canister that we are filling with water has a capacity of 5 litres. This watering can has a capacity of 3 litres. And this milk bottle, since it is smaller, it only holds 1 litre. As we can see, the canister, the watering can and the bottle are containers in which we can put water. And depending on its size, they have more or less capacity and can hold more or less liquid. Of course, the canister is much larger than the milk bottle, so it can hold much more. But then, how is capacity measured? What is the unit of its measurements? Well, the most important unit with which the capacity is measured is the litre. And it is represented by the letter L. 10 L is 10 litres. Thanks to the litre, we can know how much liquid we have in each of our containers. Check it out! In this bottle of water, we can fit 2 litres. In this bottle of oil, 1 litre. And in this glass, less than a litre fits in this glass. So, how do we measure it then? Well, I'll show you. We just have to know that there are smaller units than the litre. And which they are. The deciliter, the centiliter, and the milliliter. And they are represented like... DL, CL, ML. Let's go back to the glass. Now that we know that this glass, there are 30 centiliters. And in this small test tube, 15 milliliters. Simple, right? <laughs> but what if the containers are a lot bigger? Such as this fish tank or this pool. In this case, we use other measurements bigger than the litre. They are the decalitre, hectolitre and kilolitre. And they are represented like this. D-A-L, H-L, K-L. We can say that this fish tank holds 15 decalitres. And in this pool... 370 kiloliters. <gasps> My goodness, that's a lot of water. Remember that the liter is the most important unit of measure for measuring capacity and that there are smaller and larger units. To learn how to move from one unit to another, let's learn the ladder trick. We place the unit of capacity on a ladder. When we want to move from one unit to another, if we have to go down, we multiply by 10 on each step that we go down. And if we have to go up, we divide by 10 on each step we go up. Let's look at an example. We want to know how many milliliters there are in this 3-liter bottle. We start at the liter and we go down 1, 2, 3 steps until we get to the milliliters. So we have to multiply 10 by 3 times. Or in other words, add 0 for every step we go down. And that would give us 3000 milliliters. Now, we want to know how many hectoliters are in 50 liters. We start at the liter and we go up 1 and 2 steps. So we divide 50 by 10, two times. Or in other words, we draw a comma and move it up one place for each step we go up. So we move the comma once and twice. 
And since there's no number in front of it, we add a zero. And we get 0 0.50 hectoliters. Or what is the same? 0, 0,5 hectoliters. The ladder trick is really easy, isn't it? <laughs> now it's your turn to practice. And I'm going to drink this bottle of 50 centiliters of juice. Or what is the same? 500 milliliters. Because after talking so much, I'm really thirsty. Goodbye, friends. Until the next video.